going to do a battle of the brushes. And my husband, who knows nothing about brushes, is going to demo these brushes and choose which one he thinks is best on this gold noodle coat, our golden noodle gust. We are going to be using the Chris Christensen coral brush. We're going to use the Kenji brush. We're going to use a Le Pouche regular brush and an Activet D matte brush. He has no idea how much these brushes cost, nor does he know much about brushing. So we are going to find out which one he prefers and afterwards, I am going to tell you how much each one of these brushes costs. First of all, which one of these brushes do you think is the most expensive brush? I gotta go with Chris Christian. You think that's the most expensive one? Okay, why do you think that? Because I watched your other videos. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Well, wait, just from looking at it. Uh, it just, when you look at these brushes, which this, one do you this think? This one seems to have a nice fancy handle on it. Try to do a little more with it, like origamically yeah. correct or whatever. Uh, and then, the, and then it looks the brush seems to be these seem to be a little bit longer. Okay. And then these other ones seem to be very short. Okay. Now I don't know if that makes a difference. It does, depending but, on what coat type Gus, you're working with. It's got a longer. He's got a longer coat. Mm -hmm. My groomer keeps keeps him long. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, I it, and it just as far as. As far as look goes, and the other brushes, you know, the Kenshi looks really nice though too. I mean, it looks like. I mean, you what makes it. you think that this is a better brush or this is a better brush? What well, makes you one, think? This one, right now, it's just all aesthetics. All right. Um, but this handle seems nice with the rubber on it, and then it looks like it's joined well down here. So you These, think it's crafted well, the Kenshi brush? It seems like it, you know. And you think the same thing about the Chris Christensen yeah, brush? Yeah, I mean, it seems to be. Well thought out. Looks like this pops in and out of here, or could. Okay. Uh, what about the uh, the Activet and the Lake Push brush? And these brushes, I, I know these these are a lot harder. I know that these have a little bit of flex in them. Okay. So I'm not sure what that, that does. That doesn't have but a I lot know, of flex. See how much flex this one has. Yeah, I know going to the I know going to the. Uh, so this the, one has more, right? Yeah. Flex. The one of the groomer shell. I remember when you were talking to the brush people, we were talk, they were talking to you about flex and stuff like that. And I'm still not sure what flex does for you. Okay, but you may find out today while you're brushing guys. I may. Good. I may. So I'm going to give you a quick demo on line brushing, and then I'm going to let you go to town. Okay. Okay? Are these both the same? This is a Activet brush. This is a Le Pouche brush. They are pretty much the same pattern. However, this company bought this company's. Ah, because they both say made in Germany. Yes, yes. So the patent is the same. However, now Le Pouche is making their own brushes again. They, for some reason, they stopped for about a year to two years, and it's ridiculous. Oh, okay. But so that's why we are going right. to use an Activet so, and a Le Pouche. Which brush do we want to start with? Okay. I don't do combs. We're also using a poodle comb. This is the All Systems Poodle Comb, because he does have a poodle coat, to check our work. Now, I do not just comb a poodle, and he has a coat like a poodle. We have to brush them first. We want to remove dead hair to keep them from matting. Right. So this is going to be our comb that we're going to use to check our work, how it feels after we've brushed. Okay. The okay. first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to line brush. Okay, and okay. I think you know, you've done some brushing on Gus. So we'll start with this Le Pouche brush. Now does it matter and which side you do? Yes, on the Le Pouche brush, you'll see a complete straight edge okay. and a bent edge. The bent edge is what's gonna grab coat. This is more of a finishing edge. Okay. Like if you were scissoring feet, you would fluff it up instead of use your comb. Oh, okay. To me, this side is useless. And uh, now on the Activet, you'll notice they are both the same. In other words, you can brush and you start getting hair in, in the brush, then you can flip it to the other side and go with that. So the idea of line brushing is to get to the skin, hold the hair up, 
and pull it out with your brush. Now I'm moving up his neck, pulling it out with the brush to the skin. Gently. If you're too harsh with your brushing, you'll cause brush burn on your dog. There's a fine line of what's too much and so what's not, not enough. Now, with Gus, yes. he's not a shedding breed, so we're not looking for a lot of hair out of him. Well. Like if we would, if we were dealing with like a German Shepherd or something. Right, right. He's not like a dog. shedding breed. Okay. Well, we're pre-brushing him. We're getting ready to bathe Gus. But before we bathe him, we are pre-brushing him. So we are pre-brushing right now a dirty golden doodle. And the reason we're pre-brushing him is because if we didn't remove as much hair that wants to come out of the coat prior to bathing, we could end up with some matting. So it's very important that we remove dead hair now. We're going to find out what my husband thinks is the best brush to do that on this golden doodle coat. As if my opinion matters. It does matter. <laughs> the reason for this is to see what he thinks. You know, he's not accustomed to brushing dogs every day like I am. So, so I'm very curious. Well, let's get back to line brushing. Okay. So I'm just holding the hair back and slowly pulling it down. Yes. So I want to get down in here to the skin. I just want to hold it back and then keep rolling it back. Yeah, you're holding the skin, you're holding the hair up with your hand and right. then pulling it out with the brush to the skin. I see what you're saying. Does okay. that make sense? So that you're actually getting to the skin. If you're not, it's um, it's not going to be doing any good if we're not getting to the skin. Okay. On a thick coat like this. And a golden noodle coat is very high maintenance. You are using the Le Pouche red brush, right. which has you, a lot of flexibility to it. When I do his melon, Uh huh. Where do you start at for this one? Do I start in the front and pull forward, or do I start at just at the top, or just keep coming up like I was? Like, do I just... Well, keep going up. You can take his loop off if you... you can take the loop off if you need Yeah, but to. he might attack me. <laughs> He's not going to attack you. He loves you. Mm -hmm. So, you're still using the Le Pouche Red Brush. How's it feel? This feels all right. It's nice for around his head. It's easy to work with because well, it's, it's a smaller. smaller brush. Okay, that makes sense. You're doing good there. You just keep moving on up. That's right. Now, with his ears, just because he can't really do that down to the skin, so we're just right. brushing him out. Just brushing down. He kisses. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> French kisses. Oh, well, he's got French poodle in him. All right. Well, let's, should we switch it up here and try one of the other ones? Yeah, so why don't, don't you check go, it? Uh, yeah, see what you think with the comb. Does it, does it feel like you're snagging or you did it come, pretty? No, it's coming right through. I gotta go with the grain or, or with yeah, the coat? Yeah, with, with the coat. lay of the coat, yeah. Yeah, we're not, I mean, we're not. This coat has buildup in it, you can feel it, but you're not feeling that. No. Okay, you better not because his mom's a groomer and otherwise, I'm going to have yeah, to can a, this whole thing. She's a bad groomer. <laughs> All right, so we checked her, checked them out. Okay. And we tried, this is the one we were just using, correct? No, that's the Activet. You used so that. So this is the hair we got off him, which is a good amount. Okay. I'm going to leave that there for reference. That's a good idea. All right, so now okay. we're going to go with this one. These, this one you said does not matter which, which side. Because they're right. both, it's a D-mat. This okay. is the Activet D-mat brush. How much pressure can I push on him? You're, imagine you are brushing your hair. How much pressure would well, you I mean want as, to put? I mean, as far as holding back his hair, because... Oh, you can hold back his hair this tight to the skin. Well, and I'm, you can pull like you're doing. Just pull it up. Pull his skin up so it's taut. Oh, uh, okay. You know? Well, that's what I was curious about, because it's yeah. a little bit... It was easier on his back. Yes. Than it is on the side That's here. That's a, yeah. And you get down in those softer areas, it's a little hard to brush. You're being a good sport, Gussie. Oh, yeah, we're doing a front pause that oh, you don't like. Oh, that's what he hates. We're going to watch Gus snap at Daddy. You're not going to snap at Daddy. Ouch. 
Okay, 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 okay. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. We need to make a change here. Why? I think you're going to need to put these on if you're going to be a real go oh, groomer. Oh, yes. Now oh, we're my. talking go groomer. I'm blind. <laughs> Magnifying the snot. <laughs> All right, buddy. Okay, guys. Okay. Let Daddy finish what he's got to do, and then we'll go have beers. Oh. So you're using you're using the Activate matte zapper brush. Good boy. Good How does boy. that feel as in comparison to the other brush, honey? Um, it feels like I'm going blind. <laughs> so I gotta take those off. Oh, God. Um, Apparently, I am blind. <laughs> This one seems to be pulling more. So you feel it's pulling at his coat more. Yeah, it seems to me that it's pulling more, but now this one isn't as flexible. I have been brushing as long, and there's a little bit more hair in here. In the, de in, in the one you're using now, yeah. which is the uh, matte zephyr. Yeah. And just because it's called a matte zephyr doesn't mean we can't use it on any coat, because we can. So I, 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 I like this one. Your other ear here, Gusser. Make you look handsome. Such a good boy. I think he likes it when daddy brushes him. I do. Well, that's because mom's aggressive. <laughs> we'll wait to do the other leg. Yeah. A little later. So. Good boy. Good boy. Since you have that the, brush in your hand. The inside here. Like, okay. What do we do with this? Well, like what that? you can do is you can pick up this. You well, can I'm not worried about pick that. Pick up this oh, leg okay. so you can get in there. How does that, does that help? Yes. Good. All right, guys, other good boy. Such a good boy. He's a good dog. Oh, All right. Okay, so that's, now that might be, might be more hair in here because this is a little bit softer of a coat. Okay. I think down here than the top. Okay. But that's just my opinion. So there's what we got so far. So which one has more? This one. This is the matte the zapper. Matte zapper has more hair that it pulls yeah, out. And it doesn't seem to have as many splines, which is interesting. Did you just make up a word? No, splines is well. It's well. It's, they don't use the splines for this, but that's what I call it. There you go. Okay. All right. Now this is the one that I kind of liked. Like the. Why do you it. like that one? Well, because I just it looks. It looks very well. Future, not futuristic, but it looks like it's got a little more thought into it, even though it's probably the exact same damn thing. Because mm -hmm. um, this one looks like it's been made for 20 years. Okay. Exactly the same way. And this one, just with the handle, looks kind of like, oh, it, it just looks fancy. It looks like it's... Uh... It, this is, this is to me, I know nothing about brushes, but this one looks like marketing 101. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, let me just tell you this. Since you picked that up, does it feel better to you for some reason? It does not feel. I mean, it feels softer. It feels like it's it's like a softer material. It feels like a like it's got a rubber coating of some sort on it. Okay. Um, the handle just puts pressure at different points than that one did. Okay. Than the matte zapper and the other the other one. Okay. Now this one's really pulling, but I think that's because it's also just a huge brush. It is a bigger size. It sounds like it's really getting into it the coat. It does, but I don't... It seems like it's pulling a lot harder to me. Do you think it's pulling harder on the dog? Does yeah. he seem to mind it? He doesn't seem to mind it at all. Okay. But it does seem like it's, and you know, that could be just the size of it. Yeah. Well, it's, it's got much also, longer teeth. It's also, as I'm looking at it, it's got quite the curl to it. Yeah. So even though it's, even though it's much bigger, you're still, these, these, you know, I would assume the only contact you're making is in this, in this, Small well, it looks section. like it's packing hair all the way to the to the base of the brush, isn't it? It is. Okay. So here on the top, it seems to be working real nice for me. His hair's shorter on the top. Yeah, it seems to be working real nice up here. Okay. You like the way that feels. Yeah, it's, that's feeling really good. 
Okay. Now I'm kind of getting up to where I finished. Yeah, with the other one. Okay. So I want to finish this leg. Gus says, okay, Dad. Be gentle on my legs, please. <laughs> Mommy's making me do it too. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. I'll share a beer with you then. He's done. Okay, now I'm glad you're using this brush on this whole back leg because I want you to use the Kenchi brush on the other back leg, okay? So we can do a fair comparison. How does that brush feel? Um, I don't know. I think I kind of like the little ones, the other one. Both the Activet and the Light Push. I just because they're smaller. They it's just... easier for you to handle? Yeah, just this okay. one seems like, I don't know. Maybe okay. I'm wrong. No, it's whatever feels best to you. That's the whole point of this. That's exactly what we're doing. And which, you know, not only feels best, but does a really good job getting through the coat. So we got half of our Gussie done. Okay. Let's check them out. Let's see what we're doing here. I think we're pretty good so far. That looks good. great. You did a good job, honey. Yeah, you know. Hey. <laughs> you got to pay. Good job. <laughs> well, buddy, I think we're I think we're good. So we got to do this side of you okay and now to be fair using the, the the other brush we should probably just do the same area with that this you brush. did with the chris christian now the top of him is done so we're on the side so okay. i'll do the side the rear leg okay i'll do this side not the front leg we're gonna leave the front leg go for okay and you're using which brush the kenchi this brush? is the kenchi brush okay how's that feel in comparison to the Chris Christensen. This one feels nice. Does um, it feel different? As yeah. far as what it's doing with his coat. Oh. Um, yes, this one seems to be... It seems to me like it's just hooking in there better. What do you mean by hooking in there better? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know exactly I what I don't mean. know. Okay. You're, okay. This, yeah. this <laughs> one doesn't seem like it... Like it hooks. Grabs. Like it grabs. This one seems like it's grabbing and, and pulling, but not pulling that I can't get out of it. I don't Okay. I, I don't know how to explain it. I like that. no, I think you're explaining it very well. So you're saying it feels like it's grabbing coat, but, but at it the same time seem like it's, it's easy to work with. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's pulling on him as much as it's pulling on the coat. Right? And he is sensitive. If he minded it, trust me, he would let you know. I think this one, this side went much quicker too. It did seem to go quicker. I agree. All right, we're gonna do that front paw. With that brush? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we gotta finish. You gotta finish. He hates that. Oh, I know you do. Poor baby. I know you do. Those front legs, he cannot stand it. You're okay. He's being pretty good for you, honey. That's because he loves me. You're okay. You're okay. Daddy loves you. <laughs> Daddy loves you. That's what he needs to know. All right, now we're gonna switch up. Again. Now you're gonna try that Chris Christensen. See, now I'm liking this one, but I don't use them enough to. To really. Get an idea? Yeah. All right. You're saying you like it. It feels like it's grabbing code. It's doing a good job. It's doing a out. good job. There we go. All right. Thoughts? Um, I really like this one because it was easy for me to manage. Okay. Um, 
these two, whatever they're called again, the Chris Christensen and the Kenji brush. Uh huh. When you're doing the big areas, they're nice, but with, like with doing the legs, yeah, I like this better, and I can work with it. it seems like I can work with it a little bit faster. Now I'm not a, a groomer. No, but it matters because um, not everybody is a groomer. That's why I wanted but, you to do this. But I could, I can work with this brush, and it seems more manageable for me. I'm not as worried about pulling on something with this. Okay. With this one, when I went to his uh, back area here, yeah, I thought at the one point that it would hit something tender because he kind of went like that so well and that could have been no matter what brush you used back there um, that's that's just that's a little bit of a sensitive area so and then this one i was surprised that's the kenji brush even though it, it looks very dated like 1980s it's a slicker um, brush it's <laughs> well you know this I, I mean really this is the 2000s this is 1980s okay. this is this is lover boy in a trans am outside the high school um <laughs> So anyway, I really, I really like this brush. Even though it's like a throwback. <laughs> yeah, even though it's like a throwback, I really thought that it, it did a nice job, and I, and I couldn't tell you why. This one, like when I, it's, it just, this one just seems better to me. I don't know if it's just the. It seems to grab the coat. Is that what it is? Yeah, I mean, but it doesn't seem to pull on it as much. It's weird. Like. Yeah. Watch how his skin moves so much with that one. But this one just seems to go a little bit better and it could be well, It has shorter it. teeth, shorter bristles. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Maybe. All right, so tell me. Yeah. Which one is the most expensive one? Which one do you think is the least expensive? Um, I'm going to say... Least expensive. This one. The Activet brush. Yeah. Okay, which one do you think is the most expensive? I think this one. This one is an Activet brush. This is 55, I believe. This is a Le Pouche. This is 55 to 60. This is a Chris Christensen. This is $75. Okay. And this is a Kenti brush. This is $29. Oh. This Kenchi brush is Go Groomer's favorite. Yeah, I really like that one. That was surprising. <laughs> that means I'm just as smart as You're you. You're just as smart. So let's take a look. They all have hair. They, they're all good brushes. There's no doubt about it. They are all good brushes. Um, if I had to choose just one, my choice would be the Kenchi. I really for like, Gus, for I, my golden doodle. I really like this brush. It's not broken. Don't fix it. Yeah. Um, you thought it's dated. Just I by thought the, it was dated. How I mean, does I just, it feel in your hand? No, I like it with the rubber grip okay. on it. This I liked for different reasons, though. I think it did the same as far as the hair getting out. Yeah. I think it got a good amount of hair out. But I like this for management side of things. Yeah. You know, just to be able to manage down here, especially with Gus not liking his front paws done. Yeah. This makes it a little bit easier because I can hit it quick. Yeah. and get where I want to get. And it, and it works good. And it works good. Yeah. But with this, like, you know, it's a big thing to try to aim it to get to where you want to get. It is. So for our novice husband, he chooses the Activet Matt Zapper brush for his Golden Noodle Gus. And that's good. This is what we're doing. We're saying, what do you prefer? What do people prefer? You know, there's a reason. Comfort, effectiveness, and coat type. He's a golden doodle with a poodle coat. So your choice is the Activet brush. Yeah, I would lean, I would lean towards that or the, or the Kenchi brush. This one I think is more because of the flexibility. Did it feel good? Yeah, but these are pretty much exactly the same. Well, this, one this one's as, different. This one's not as flexible. Yeah. The matte zapper is Th not. This one I liked. I, I, I like them all. They're all fairly similar. Okay. But for, for what you say it was twenty nine dollars. Twenty nine dollars. And this is seventy five. Yes. Then that's a no, right? All day long. And right? I honestly feel because I use both those brushes hard, I feel the Kenchi brush can hold up to that Chris Christensen yeah. brushes. Well, thank you so much for doing this demo. It has been very helpful. Oh, I'm billing you. We love you, Go Groomer hubby.